What's going on everybody? James Paul Shepard with Filmcore Digital and today we're doing screen replacement and some artificial reflections in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. All right, now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, what you want to do is you want to grab your footage, bring it in, and we're going to head over to the Fusion tab. All right, now that we're in the Fusion tab, what you're going to do is you're going to shift space. And we're going to grab a planar tracker. Add that on. Um, a good way to get the tracker to track better is to find something more contrast. So if you go up here and play with your uh, color channels, you can get something, depending on your footage, you can get it to stick out more. So I'm going to use the red channel to get this screen, and we're just going to... All right, so we're just going to mark right around the screen. We're going to come over here. We're going to hit set. We're going to change it to hybrid. Translation, rotation, and scale. Click the red channel. And then we're going to track forward. Now, if you didn't start at the beginning of your track, then you want to go ahead and hit go. It'll take it back to the first track point and then track backwards. All right, now that we have that tracked, you want to bring in the footage that you want to replace on the screen. Go ahead and change your color channel back to color. Connect that to the planar tracker. Make sure the planar tracker is selected. We're going to go to corner pin. And you're just going to line that up on your footage where you believe that the screen is at. Now, when you have a blank screen, like a black screen, you have nothing behind it to get a little more reflection. If you have reflections and stuff, you want to select the planner tracker, go to corner pin and change it to screen. You can play around with the gain to make it fit in a little better. But that's how you get it to track to just a basic screen. If you have a green screen and track markers, it makes it a little easier. But this is just pinning over your previous screen. All right, now I'm going to show you if you already have footage on your screen that you're replacing over to try to give it a more natural look and give it an artificial reflection. So you're going to grab your footage. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to head over to Fusion. We're going to add a planar tracker. We're going to outline the screen. Set, track forward. We're going to bring in our footage. Make sure the planner tracker is selected. Corner pin. Go back to a point where we can see the screen. Spend a little time getting that accurate. All right, so now what we're going to do to put the... See how that it's more color and contrast. It's more vibrant than the rest of the footage. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it softer and give it like a artificial reflection. So you're going to copy your planar tracker.
we're going to take that footage and we're going to put it on the second planner tracker. Now what you're going to do is you're going to copy your media and you're going to put it on the first planner tracker. And then we have that right there. What you're going to do is you're going to shift space. We're going to add a transform. And we're just going to move that over, increase it a little bit. Change the aspect a little bit. Just play around with it. Then we're going to add a blur. We're going to add a box blur. And then just increase that strength. Now we're going to add our footage back on. We're going to go to corner, the corner pin. And then we're going to change that to screen. And that gives it that little artificial look, fits into the scene a little better. And that's a simple way to do a screen replacement in DaVinci Resolve with an artificial reflection. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, hit that subscribe. And remember, keep creating. I'd like to thank our Patreon members who are Dylan Painter, Dustin Clark, Carl Robbins, Little Thrusty, Bobby Cervanera, Angela Marie, Danny Gowan, Vicky and David Ingblom, and Leslie Murphy. Appreciate all the support that you guys have shown to FilmCore Digital. 